So one other thing, which is Luminoso also has an API that allows you to do things like classification and auto tagging on top of our text analytics platform without working with the GUI. And that allows it to be able to be integrated into different processes and automated decision systems that happen within companies. We can do things like understand if a review comes in, uh, what genre of movie the review is likely to talk about, all the way to being able to figure out if someone is a Republican or a Democrat on Twitter. I think what's next for us is obviously continuing to work on the dashboard. We're working on releasing something that's called the tagging dashboard that really enables users to tag and work with groups of documents as well as with individual reviews, uh, being able to take the power of analyzing an individual contribution or many individual contributions and trying to understand how that works together in large groups to make better decisions and to better search documents to find conceptual answers you're looking for. So right now uh, a lot of my research time and a lot of our research time is focused on ConceptNet, uh, which is the model of how people think about the world that Luminoso and hundreds of other people use to be able to bring this common sense knowledge into computers. And I think for us right now, um, building what is a huge open data resource and providing it for people is really interesting. Uh, right now, our biggest questions and our biggest thoughts are how can we take the work that we've done and move it to languages that are harder to work with than the languages we've looked at. So right now, we're trying to understand can we move this to Arabic? Can we start working with Turkish? Can we look at Malay or Indonesian and how would we start working in these areas where our traditional collection methods like games with a purpose are going to be a little bit more difficult and being able to say how can we work across the different dialects of Arabic things like that there are all these questions about taking ConceptNet and really bringing it to more of a global reach. So uh, when we started Luminoso at the Media Lab one of the things that had happened is by the time we actually had started the technology was ready for commercialization as a research group we had moved on to other things so it was very much things that were happening in parallel luminoso was working on text analytics and in the lab we were working on what we thought was going to be the next step for this which was dialogue based analytics understanding you and i as we talk to each other and understanding how organizations work can we understand organizations from the digital breadcrumbs that they leave behind? Can we see how an organization structures and functions? And can we understand how to connect it better just by the text it creates on a daily, per, on a daily basis? And we put a lot of work into that, building the glass infrastructure system, helping to build the glass infrastructure system at the Media Lab that helped the Media Lab connect with each other and connect with its members based on their interests. I also had started doing a lot of work on computational creativity and story understanding. So can we build uh, systems that are able to understand and augment a storyteller as they're telling a story? So with uh, students, with Dan Novi, we built a system called the Narratarium. Uh, which allows you to tell a story to the computer and it will build interactive visualizations either based on colors of what you're talking about or based on preset assets uh, in an immersive fashion in the room around you as you're telling a bedtime story. And the Narratarium is a Media Lab project. When you go by the Media Lab, feel free to ask to see it. Right now, Luminoso is focused on market research, marketing, and working with large brands to understand their consumers. But in the future, in next year, we'll actually be able to uh, go on premise and build installs uh, within data centers. This will allow us to work with markets that we hadn't worked with before, such as uh, financial services, pharmaceuticals, and um, law enforcement.